Hey, I'm Jessica Moore, local realtor in Fredericksburg, Virginia. And today I wanna to talk to you a little bit about four ways you can sell your home while buying a new one and limiting your risk. So something a lot of home sellers say, especially in a really active or aggressive market is, well, Jess, what if my home sells and I can't find anything to buy? There are a couple ways we can get around this, and I'm gonna talk about them in no particular order, but some of them are a more aggressive buying method than others. So the first is asking for a rent back. What that means is that your house is going to go under contract and we are going to ask the new purchaser to rent your house back from them. Now that still does give you risk because you're gonna get a couple extra days on the or a couple extra months rather on the tail end, but you still have to find a home at that point. The other option is a home of choice contingency. That means that when you accept a contract on your home, we are going to put a seller side contingency that you have two or three weeks, whatever time frame we choose, to find a home of your choice. If you don't find your home, you reserve the right to walk away from the contract and selling your house. This gives you a lot of flexibility. However, it can make potential buyers a little squeamish. So it's important to weigh the pros and cons. Another option is once your home is ready to go on the market, we find you a new house first. You will then be submitting an offer and asking for what's called a home sale contingency. This means that your home still needs to go on the market and go under contract before you can buy the new home. But we're going to be asking those sellers to take a risk on you as a buyer with a home sale contingency. We used to see this much more frequently, but in a really aggressive market, that is a tough thing. It's a big ask for a, a seller. You can think about it on the flip side. When you're a seller, are you going to want to take the risk of a buyer who still has a home to sell? Now, there's also something called a home settlement contingency. This one's a little bit easier to float by a prospective seller. This means that your house has already been on the market and is under contract. Now your home may still need to go through an appraisal or things of that nature, but you're much closer to the finish line. Therefore, you're giving a little bit more uh, comfort to the seller of the house that you're trying to buy. So those are four different methods that we can utilize. Sometimes we can even join them and we can do our best to mitigate your risk that we're not gonna sell your house out from under you without some place for you and or your family to move. So for more tips, make sure to reach out to me directly. I would love to talk to you about your specific situation and how we can fine tune some of these ideas to best fit for you. But also don't forget to hit subscribe, tune in next week, and we'll see you then.